What's up, everybody? Well, had a couple requests to run through this Armory Crate software, so I figured I would do just that right now. And of course, no recording software wants to record my screen on here for whatever reason, so I did the next best thing. I put it up on my 4K TV, so hopefully everybody can see what I'm doing still. This is the screen that you will be welcomed with when you launch the program. And right down here, you have all of your different uh, cooling modes. If you go over here to Windows, this just lets Windows control everything, just the way a Windows always has. Silent, as the name suggests, they ca it cares most about noise reduction, then energy saving, then cooling, then GPU performance, and it does not care about CPU performance in this one, this mode at all. And I have mine set up to where Turbo completely turns off in this mode for extra battery life. So that's why my frequency is chilling around 2.8 or whatever. So then you've got performance, which is kind of a good middle ground. Mostly wants good cooling, which gives you good G, uh, GPU performance. And you still get pretty good CPU performance. So that's pretty much how performance mode works. Turbo, the mode I usually works, ramps up cooling all the way up, CPU performance all the way up, GPU performance all the way up, and doesn't give a crap about energy saving or noise reduction. This thing will be an absolute, like, I don't know, it sounds kind of like a helicopter or something, or hovercraft trying to turn off on full load of Monus, but every laptop does, so I'm not even hating on it. And then manual, you can come over here and you can mess with your fan speeds, just like you would in, say, like Afterburner for your GPU, works the same way here. You can set up your own custom fan profiles. You got three different uh, profiles you can save to. You can do your uh, GPU and APU wattage here for the CPU. You can go over to the GPU and do the same thing for the fan on that as you could with the CPU. So you can set up two completely different fan profiles. If you want, if you so choose. Alrighty, now if we go down here to these little dots, if you click on those, you can you see your GPU stats, how much usage it's using, the frequency of the memory, its temperature, how much voltage it's using, which is zero because this particular GPU is not even on right now, how much TGP it can use, how much memory and storage you're using up right now. You have your system configuration stuff here. So you can turn your wind key on and off, your ROG key on and off, you can turn your touch pad on and off, your screen hertz lower and off for uh, battery power. This pretty much just cuts it down, I think, to 60 uh, when you're not doing anything intensive. So that's always nice, just save a little battery. All right, and then if we go to the next screen, here's fan speed. So it'll tell you your current CPU and GPU fan speeds and how much are, uh, D, uh, acoustics it is. Right now we're sitting at 27.8 DPA because it's on silent mode. This is where you can turn that god-awful boot-up sound off and on. If you, like me, get got the shit scared out of you every time you turned your laptop on in the morning or if you restarted it to do an update or something and forgot about it and then the next second you know, go whoosh, and your heart's pumping a mile a minute going, holy shit, what the fuck was that? But yeah, you can turn that off. Thank God. But they also took away our uh, overdrive for now. Seems like mine's still working, so I'm not that irritated by it. But it's still kind of annoying that they took that feature away. Hopefully it'll reappear in an update. That's what they say will happen anyway. Next screen here. You can uh, add games here. You have like a little game library, kind of like Steam or whatever. You can just literally launch all your games from here if you wanted to do that. Here's how you can do your Aura Sync for your controls of the light bar and your keyboard. You can turn the little key on and off from here. I believe that's what it does. And then you've got profiles here. You can also log into your profile if you wanted to go through the trouble of making one. I didn't. And last but not least, oh, that is this one. And we can also do the shared cam and whatnot from here. Even So basically that's how you can get your uh, a, uh, a webcam. You can just use your phone and hook your phone up to it. So that's kind of their solution for not having a webcam. That's okay with me. Alrighty, moving on to the system tab now. This is where you can literally tell processes to stop 
turning on when you're gaming and whatnot. Like if you notice a program that's just eating up your CPU or GPU for whatever reason, and you're like, what the hell? I don't even like this program, and you can't figure out how to delete it or whatever. You can just turn it off right here. Now here's GPU power saving, kind of the same feature. It kind of like lets uh, applications uh, go switch in between the integrated and uh, dedicated to save power. Now here's where you can change all of your different uh, effects for your front RGB bar and your keyboard, which is pretty sweet. I haven't messed with that yet. I kind of like the way it, it works just standard. Now if we move over to audio, this is where you can set up your two-way noise cancellation for the microphone that's underneath the screen down there. And you can also tell it what output you want to use right now. Obviously we have our sound coming through the TV, but if we wanted to, we could go and tell it, hey, I don't want that. I want my sound to come out of the laptop for whatever reason. You could do that and it wouldn't be an issue. Now here's the AMD graphics settings. I don't usually use any of this. I use the actual AMD software, but if you don't want to use that, you can use, do all this stuff here. You can turn your Radeon Chill up, off and on, which I don't use. But if you're off on battery, you could turn this on. You could tell it to limit the FPS to save battery. And this I do use. You definitely want anti-lag. That gets you the best uh, response time. And then here's your Radeon Boost. This is basically like super resolution. It'll run the resolution at a higher internal resolution than what your display is running. So you can basically tell the game to run at 4K to your 1080p screen and it'll look a lot nicer. And then you can sharpen up your image right here. And then this is just, last but not least, we just have a resource monitor. It's very similar to... Uh, Afterburner or something you can just sit here. It'll tell you your GPU your CPU frequency your CPU temperature your CPU usage your GPU frequency your GPU temperature your GPU usage your memory usage your disk active time your disk read speed your disk write speed I mean it, and if you hold over your mouse on right it'll give you even more information Like averages and all that all right. Here's the aura sync tab much as it implies you can Select the Aura Sync compatible things, which is the light bar and keyboard. I think in this case, it's just the, this is just for the keyboard effects on and off. And then your Aura effects are for everything again. This basically takes us back to that same screen we were in earlier. So you can set up your whatever uh, RGB settings you like. So that was pretty simple. Okay, this is your game visual scheme. Apparently it does not like me being hooked up to my TV, but this is where you would like set up all of your different uh, visual uh, colors for your monitor. So it probably only wants to do the ones for the actual laptop. It doesn't know what the TV is. So it's like, I don't know how the hell to change any of your TV's colors. What the hell you want me to do? That's only for your messing with the colors of your internal display. Now this is just that game library tab we looked at earlier, like just like Steam or Origin or GOG, if you have any of that stuff and you want it to all be in one place, I think you could just hit find games and it would find a list of games. So let's just see, let's just see what it does right now. Yep, see, it looks for your game, looks uh, at your system for games and then it'll pretty much put them all right here in one spot for you. We don't really have much on here right now, but boom, it found all the ones that we've got. And it tells us what each thing's on. It tells us that Doom's on Steam, Diablo's on Blizzard, Here's a Storm's on Blizzard, and Genshin Impact is its own thing. It has no idea. But you can click right here and click play, and it would launch the app, just like you would on any other uh, app launching program. All right, now here's your uh, scenario profiles. So you could literally just set up things to be different and different profiles and switch between them. Like if you wanted a game mode profile, you could turn your win key off, turn your volume up to like 70%, turn all your uh, random things you don't want off, like touchpad and stuff, because you're probably gonna be using a mouse and what have you. Then you can turn the hyperfan DC and stuff off and on. You could do quite a bit here. Then you can do your app configuration here. You can clear cache, game first, don't even know what that is to be honest with you, but 
that pretty much does it for the scenario profile tab here. Pretty self-explanatory. All right, moving on to the featured tab. This one is literally basically just ads for games and uh, other stuff you can get for being a member of GOG or whatever. Here's some Aura Sync Ready Experience games. So like these games will make the keyboard and whatnot move to like what hap what's happening in the game. So that'd be kind of, that's pretty cool. Uh, obviously recommended is just some recommended stuff that they recommend for you to get for your uh, ROG Strix laptop. Here's that game first thing. I'm not gonna get that right now, but you got XSplit for game casting, Bluestacks for we playing Android games. You can get this if you want to maintain your system, so on and so forth. And then over on our redemption tab, as soon as it loads, you have to log in and whatnot, and that's where you would get to all of your uh, features, like if you like your balance of points, and that's why it's got this redeem history tab down here. You can redeem games, redeem all sorts of stuff here. All right, and the last tab on the list is just what it says, news. So this is just all news about Republic of Gamers stuff. So, not not too much. Click on stuff like this. It'll open up in its own little browser internally here, and you can check out what's going on. Re rewards. Check out the hot reward stuff. Like here we go. See, like if you get points, you could get Se Tekken Seven or Deus Ex. You could get some ROG wallpaper, so on and so forth. And apparently, you can't. It's coming back in 2021. Apparently it's not even on right now. That's interesting. So this is kind of a moot uh, reward thing right now. Anyway, moving on. All right, moving on. You've got your user center tab down here. This is where you would sign into your Republic of Gamers account. I have, I have one, but I'm not signed in yet. I did that when I registered the laptop. Yeah, why not? We'll accept cookies from you. I don't, I don't care. So... All right, moving on to the settings tab. Okay, we're in the settings tab now. This is the general tab. This is where it comes in when you go right into the settings tab. This is where it'll come. You can change where it starts. So whenever you launch the program, you can literally have it start up on whatever you want here in this whole list of stuff here. You can customize your theme right here. There's only three, so not a lot of choices, but hey, some choices better than no choice. This is your update center, so if you want to just check for updates, this is where you would get, uh, uh, obviously, updates for your Armory Crate, firmware, your Aura Kit for your RGB, stuff like that. I'm pretty sure I'm up to date, but we'll just let it go. Oh, huh? no. Yeah. yeah, everything's up to date. Yep, yeah, everything's up to date. So... No worries there. And then the last tab here is an about tab where it'll just tell you your app version. I'm on the latest one, 4.2.5.0. Here's your service how version. App diagnostics log. And apparently this software contains source code provided by the NVIDIA Corporation on my AMD laptop. Interesting. And then last but not least, I'm not even going to bother turning the camera off, but this is Mobile Connect. If you wanted to get your phone out, you could download the Armory Create Mobile app on Google Play or the App Store, and you could control your stuff through the app. Say if you were playing a game and you didn't want to alt-tab out and go to your Armory Create, you could just pull out your phone and pick, okay, change this to Turbo Mode, blah, 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 so on and so forth, and you'd be on your way. So, I think that about covers it for, my, for Armory Create. Go back home, yeah. Now we're back home again. So yeah, we've pretty much covered everything. You can edit your titles here and register your product here. So yeah, we pretty much... Misty, please don't go up there. I'm trying to make a video right now. <laughs> Misty wants to play and explore. But anyway, guys, I think that pretty much wraps this video up. Hopefully I've done a good enough job explaining what all the aspects of this program can do. As Misty climbs all over my table one, how whatever, there's nothing for her to break up their laptops down here next to me right now. Anyway, where was I? Wrapping up. Anyway, I'm going to end this video now.
If you guys have any questions that I skimmed over and didn't answer, just ask them and I'll answer them to the best of my knowledge. And until the next video, peace out guys.